knocking around. Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I am so excited for this video. I'm going to be doing my first Primark haul of 2022. I solely and purely went to Primark because of other people's hauls and because of the TikToks that I'd seen. Their homeware section looked absolutely amazing by what people were showing online. And I thought, you know what? I could do for a little bit of Primark in my life, so let's head there. I got some amazing stuff. We've got some homeware and clothes, a good variety of both. And I'm really excited. I probably think this is the best Primark haul I've ever done. But I say that every time because I feel like every time I go and I get stuff that I like, my aesthetic changes and then I'm like, oh my God, this is the best one I've ever done. blah de blah de blah But personally, as of now, this is the best one I've ever done. I think they're absolutely killing it at the moment, both homeware and like clothes. It was so good. But I'm just going to get straight into showing you everything that I got. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, chat, chat, let's just see what's in Primark. I ended up getting one of the big reusable bags. But this is a purchase in itself when I go to Primark because these bags are so handy. I love them. I use them for everything. And then I got a paper one as well. So we got quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to start with... I don't think everything's in order. I think it's just been put in the bag. So... We're just gonna do like as it comes out the bag. I'll start with the big bag. So the first thing I got, you might have seen if you've been watching Primark calls, everybody's picking them up because they're back in trend and it's some little Uggs. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen the ones that everybody's kind of wearing where there's like no furry bit. I tried them on and I felt like it looked like a really awful slipper on me. I was like, no way can I go out in that. But then I tried the ones with a bit of fur and I actually preferred the way they looked on my feet. So I picked these up because I'm not buying relugs because I know I'll ruin them and two, I won't wear them enough. But these were, I think they were £8 they were. And this is what they look like. I got the traditional brown colour, but I did get the ones with the little bit. I just think Uggs, I remember when I used to wear them, are so, so, so comfy. And, you know, they're a bit of an ugly shoe, let's be real. Like, it's not the most pretty shoe, is it? But they're so comfortable. And if people are wearing them and it's acceptable to wear them outside again, then... I'm going to get on it, although I am wearing Primark ones for £8. Because I'm sorry, but I just can't justify over £100 for a slipper looking shoe. The next thing I got, I love nudes and beiges now. Like, honestly, my, a lot of my wardrobe is them colours. So, these are very similar to the pants I'm wearing today. So, today I have, like, a dark brown cord pants on. Is it cord? Cord? No, cord's like a matching set. Cord is, is like... You know what I'm trying to say if it's not correct. Anyway, but I picked these up. So the ones I'm wearing are actually from Shein. But these ones I just picked up in Primark today. They were like really light beige colour. But I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of these. I got them in... Oh! I got them in a size 16. I wasn't meant to. I was meant to get them in an 18. Okay, well, the white leg and high waist. So I'll save the fit, but I don't think they will. Um, and these were £15, but this is what they look like. They're absolutely beautiful. If I return these, I'm definitely going to try and pick them up in the bigger size because I really like the look of them. And I think I'll wear them quite a lot. They're just wide leg, high waist. But yeah, very similar to the ones I have on a day. Um, apart from they're just like a lighter beige colour. Oh, I've just remembered, they've given us all the hangers. And don't get me wrong, I bought hangers in this video because I need hangers. But these hangers are the bane of my life. Like, I'm, I don't want to offend any hangers out there, but... These are just not the hanger for me. Like, I hate the ones with the clips. I don't I don't use them. Okay, the next pair of trousers, I walked past these probably about three times. And each time I was like, I really like them, but I don't know how to style them. I don't know how to wear them. Oh, I really want them. But I felt like they needed to come with a matching top, but I couldn't see any matching tops. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to get them. Because I feel like the colour will go with either black or white. Although I'd probably wear them more with black. So it's a silk pair of smart looking trousers. Um, they're just very like silky looking and they're in a gorgeous green. I got them in a size 18 and these were £15. Now they are elasticated at the back but I feel like on a nice night out with some heels, a black top and a blazer this could be such a cute little outfit and I love the colour. Like this colour is so pretty. St. Patrick's Day, where are you? Because look at that. I love these so much. I definitely will wear these if I can style them and, yeah, if they look good as well. Sometimes this material clings to my legs and doesn't look very flattering, but I'm definitely going to try them because I hope they fit because I think they look really pretty. I am in love with these green pants. These are so beautiful. I'm definitely wearing these tomorrow for date night with Sean. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I've paired them with a little black racer top. 
um, this one, Asta, I think I got this one quite a while ago and it like ties up yeah, slightly so it gives you like a little, a little crop which I like. Then I've just got this really long blazer type thing on from Sheen. You can wear this as a blazer dress I'm pretty sure but obviously I've just opened it and worn it as a jacket on this outfit. I really like it and then I've put some square black shoes on. Heels, honestly, I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to wear this tomorrow. I wish I could get these pants in more colours though because I think they're absolutely beautiful on my figure and I know I would wear them a hell of a lot. I just wish I could get them in a few more colours. Okay, the next thing was in the homeware section and I seen that I actually had refills for reed diffusers, like the sticks. Now these are actually so good and I never knew where to get these from. I don't know if that's just me being dumb but I've never actually seen just the sticks before. So I've seen the replacement diffuser reads um, for 80 pence for two, no not two, four, eight, eight reads. Oh my god, okay. Um, yeah, and i just seen them so I did pick up a bunch of to put in my cupboard where I store all my reed diffusers because I often find when a reed diffuser gets like half empty I can't smell it. I thought if I changed the reeds on it, then it could relife it, give it another life, you know. Another thing I stocked up on is the like little smellies that you put around your room or your house. So these are the fresh linen scented room sachets. They're actually really pretty. They've got like little pompous grass on them. So I did pick up three of these because I do use them all around the house. I have one in the office. I like to have one in the wardrobe and the downstairs toilet. So now we have three um, and these were a pound each. Yep. The next thing that I picked up is this it's like a really long jumper but it comes with a little collar and it's got little tortoise shell buttons on it it's got a slouch arm that's long and then some pockets and it's just long you could actually wear it as a dress if you wanted or you could like wear it open over an outfit as an extra layer this was 20 pound and i got it in an xl this is what it looks like i just think it looks so pretty i really love this color at the minute like i said i wear a lot of nudes white and browns now so that this would get a lot of wear in my wardrobe because the two cardigans that i own are black so some days when i'm not wearing black i don't want to put black and my nudes together and then i didn't have a cardigan so now i do have a beautiful cardigan which i'm very happy about so i think it was the last primark haul that i done you might have seen that i actually picked up the jacket and skirt in this pattern i didn't even know trousers existed in this pattern so i picked them up because they were in the sale for seven pound reduced from 13 pound now i got them in a size 20 because that's the only size i had left but i do think they'll fit this is what they look like now the only thing is i usually like trousers with a belt hook and these don't have that but i'm sure we can make it work um but i have the blazer in the exact same pattern so i thought with a little white top or a black top it would be a really nice little cord to wear out and stuff but yeah it's just a wide leg trouser and i love when i go out on nights out with my friends or when me and sean go on a date night i really like to wear a matching cord instead of wearing a dress that's just like more my vibe and my aesthetic so I really like the look of this one and like I said I do also have this in a skirt so I can like mix and match what I want to wear but I just love this pattern. I'm so glad I picked up these trousers oh my god they match my blazer perfectly I mean I knew the word because I was sure that it was the same pattern but I absolutely love this outfit I've paired it with a little brown racer top that I got in a pack of four or five from Shein um, but yeah I absolutely love this and then obviously I've put the matching blazer on just to see what it would look like as a full outfit and then four shoes I've got some like little brown square heeled shoes I love that see the thing is me and heels do not get on I have a real problem finding a heel that I like and that I can wear because I have a really fat flat big foot like uh, my feet are not the nicest things okay and finding a shoe that i feel nice in and comfortable in i really struggle with so um when i found these like square heels they work perfectly for me and i know there's a lot of people out there who hate them but personally for me they work well and i like them so i've got a brown pair of these which i've paired with the outfit and i just love suits like this i think they're so classy so sophisticated you look elegant i think in a suit and i can't find a lot of dress styles that i love i mean don't get us wrong more recently I do wear dresses more than I ever have before but to find a dress style that I love is really hard and this is just more my vibe which I feel more comfortable and confident in okay the next thing that I got is three pairs or packs of hangers so it's the metal hangers in this 10 in each pack for three pound it's just like this they're just black there's nothing much to them but I picked three packs of these up because me and Sean don't have enough hangers in the wardrobe and I'm always looking through his for hangers and I've got a feeling he looks through mine so I thought yeah 
we'll get some more. Okay, the next thing that I got is just a t-shirt bra because I've seen one in my size and I really wanted to try it for the price just because it was so cheap. £4 for the t-shirt bra um, and it's, well, it's slightly bigger than my size but I thought I'd try it anyway. This is what it looks like. It's just a black bra. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is it does only have two clasps at the back. Usually bigger bras, like bigger size bras, have about four. Um, so I don't know how supportive it'll be but for £4, I thought, well, I'll try it because if I can get bras for £4, that's an absolute bargain because big bras are usually a lot of money. Guys, this is the fit of the Primark bra and honestly I feel like it looks quite cute. I really like it. Now I have got good support in it. Not the most supportive bra that I have. Definitely not a bra that I could wear at the gym. I mean that's not its purpose. Its purpose is an everyday bra. But as an everyday bra I feel like this is definitely acceptable. I like the way that it sits. It hasn't got the most support in terms of like the strap. Bigger cupped bras have like a thicker strap but overall I don't think it's like a bad bra and just every day knocking around knocking around i could definitely wear it and get away with it so yeah happy about this four pound absolute bargain okay so the next thing i got is for the pups it is a little portable dog bed so me and sean love to take the pups on holidays we'll go on little getaways little night stays and stuff like that and we went on quite a few last year and we really enjoyed it and when we take the pups into pubs with we if we've got a little bed they just settle on their little bed now we do already have one that i got from big and m i think it was last year yeah, but it's not very big and I thought if they had two they would have room each but I really like this one because it's got a little handle that you can hold when you're transporting it it's in a really nice brown colour and it's really soft which I know they like the little bed was £9 this is what I got but I just know the pups are like it and like I said the one we currently have the um one of them's always like falling off slightly so i got this then primark actually had a section where they do like laundry detergent washing up liquid like a full section of cleaning products in the homeware and i was just like hello hello you screaming my name i need you i was buzzing so i picked up the non-bio laundry liquid um this is it fragrance oil cleans and freshens clothes eucalyptus and yuzu fragrance they're plant-based they're vegan they're cruelty free so i thought you know what i need to try that we'll give it a sniff Ooh, it's it's a very different smell it's uh different but i will give it a try and i really like the bottle how pretty is that bottle to put on a little shelf okay the next thing that i got is actually these like leather look pants i went pants out because honestly i feel like i always create my outfit around pants like you know when you have a main staple thing for the outfit for me it's got to be a comfy pair of pants or trousers or jeans and then i work my outfit around me pants rather than me top does that make sense like sometimes i'll wear a top that's a little bit more out there and that i have to wear more neutral trousers but i prefer me pants to be a bit more prominent in the main feature of the outfit i don't know why it's just the type of girl that i am i'm a pants girl and i really like these so i have some black leather look pants but i've never had them in any other color now they had a really like dark brown color which i really wanted but they didn't have my size so i picked these ones up they're 13 pound and i got them in a size 20 because they are skinny and i've got really chubby legs so i thought we'll try these they're high-waisted but yeah they're like a leather look and i think i'm really gonna have fun trying to style these right guys these pants were tight like so tight i feel like i look a bit like sausage legs i'm not a hundred percent sure if i'm vibing i paired them with the ugg boots now i honestly don't know how to style the ugg boots and i thought if i was going like shopping or an everyday outfit this would look cute but tell us honestly if they're just like not working but i also i paired it with this little brown razor crop from sheen and then i also got my um brown nude blazer from Primark and then I got this little cow print bag from Monkey. This is how I've paired the full outfit. I do really like it. I'm just not sure on the footwear choice. I'm not sure if, you know, I, wa I wanted to make this outfit more casual drinks, but I wasn't really sure what footwear to put with it because I felt like trainers wouldn't go, heels is too dressy. So I thought I'll try the Uggs and I've tried them. You can tell us what you think. Okay, the next thing I got is a little lamp from the home section. Now, this was £6. It's a frosted glass lamp. But what I loved about this lamp is it's actually battery work. Like, it works from batteries, which for what I want it for is absolutely perfect. I want it to go on the little centrepiece in the living room. And 
I actually wish I picked a few more of them up because I actually think they'd be really nice in the bedroom as well. But nonetheless, I picked one up just because obviously where I want it, there's no plug, there's no outlet and I don't want any wires hanging. So I just thought a battery orientated lamp is absolutely perfect. And I've actually been looking for one on Amazon, but I couldn't find any. So this is a yes from me. Okay, I got another pair of trousers. These are a ripped flare. This is what they look like. They're in a very nice mint green colour. Um, and yeah, I got these in an extra large and they were £10. I absolutely love flares. I wear black flares all of the time. But I thought I'm going to get the green ones. There was purple as well. But I don't know if I'd be able to style purple. So I thought I'll get green because green's a colour that I could potentially wear. But yeah, they're just a flared pants. Really nice. I love the style of flares. I wear them all the time now. Guys, I've got the flares on and I'm not sure they, like, I don't think I like them. They've got little slits at the bottom, which usual pairs of flares that I don't, don't. And they're very tight, like they're really accentuating my stomach and foofy area, which, you know, I don't really want to accentuate them at the public. Um, Yeah, they just don't look as flattering as most flares do on us. I feel like if I sized up, they would still have the same problem. I think they're just a very tight fit and flare and I have very chubby legs. Not the biggest fan of these, although I did think this was going to be a cute outfit. I styled it with this little um, t-shirt that is from Primark a while ago with this, that's from Primark. Um, and then I just went with a nude bag from Monkey um, and some trainers. I mean, not sure that I'm loving this one, to be fair. I'm a little reluctant. I think the trousers are just not making us feel the best. The next thing I got, I couldn't resist. I got one of the huge reed diffusers. So I got this one, it's the Unwind Blush Jasmine Reed Diffuser. It's 950 ml and it comes with its own big sticks. Um, but yeah, I really like the bottle as well, like this kind of brown colour. I'm going to put this on the shelf above the bed in the bedroom um, because it's unwound. So I thought it might give away a nice scent and stuff, but this is going to last so long. This was... £12, which to be honest, for the size of it, I think is pretty decent. Last few items that I got is this little black basket. This is going to go in the ensuite. I wanted a little basket for me flannels. So I got this for £2. It's a perfect size just to put a few flannels in. And then the next thing I got is two little brown candles. They just look like this. Um, this one is in clean linen. Well, they're both actually in clean linen. I wanted some this size because my two ones that I had on the sideboard in the living room have just burnt out. And I do have more in my candle collection, but not this size. I like the little ones for to go each side of a big one, if that makes any sense. And the one I'm currently using is from Primark and it's called linen. For putting these two little linen ones with the big linen one, and it will enhance the linen smell. And the last but not least thing I picked up is just this tiny little dainty chain. This is what it looks like. It's just a gold little chain and it was £2. But I am an accessory person. I love to accessorise my outfits. So I thought this little chain was dead cute. And I don't actually have just a plain chain. So I thought this would go really nice with some of my little outfits. And I always wear gold. Never wear silver. I do have... A few silver rings, but I am more of a gold jewellery type of girl. That is everything that I picked up from this Primark haul. Let us know what your favourite item was down below. I feel like I love every single thing that I got. I didn't really get any tops. I've only just realised I got the cardigan thing, but no tops. Mainly trousers, but that's okay. Because like I said, I do style most of my outfits around trousers. So if I'm wearing like a pair of trousers that's quite out there, I'll wear quite a plain top, which I already have. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to continue to see Primark hauls, let us know by giving this one a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and let us know if you're going to be heading to Primark after this haul or not. Or is it just not your vibe at the minute or is it your vibe? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again shortly for another one. Bye!